Welcome back to the channel folks. This is Jason, host of Finding Words Financial. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about QuantumScape and I wanted to talk about sort of the temperament of the market in general right now and especially tech stocks and EV stocks. It's starting to look really frothy uh, for a lot of companies. A lot of companies that really aren't doing the business or have the technology to justify the stock prices that they have right now, especially companies that are older and have been working in the field of green technologies or green solutions for a long time. They haven't really done anything. Their technology hasn't been a breakthrough, but they're sort of being carried up by all of the other advances in EV technologies right now. Uh, and I'm not saying QuantumScape is one of those. I am seeing that their run up of uh, almost 100% in their price is probably not going to last. I don't want you to lose your heads with uh, fear of missing out here and buy in at a price uh, that, that, that you may be sitting at a loss for, for months or even years. And let me talk about that for a minute. The technological advances for QuantumScape are impressive. Impressive in ways that are hard for me to wrap my head around right now and hard for me to express. And the fact that it came so quickly on the heels of Tesla's battery day is even more impressive and really makes me excited about the future, uh, you know, just for all of humanity, not just this company. But these are lab results that QuantumScape has. You know, this isn't something, this isn't a battery that's stuck in a car and has actually been used. These are lab results at this point. Uh, fast charging, which everyone sees you making a big deal of, out of really um, doesn't impress me that much. But there are other things about the battery that does impress me, and that is the battery energy density. The battery energy density is supposed to be extremely high, somewhere between 380 and 500 watt hours per kilogram, which is anywhere to 50 to 100% higher than current commercially available uh, you know, lithium ion batteries. So a commercially viable solid state lithium ion battery or lithium metal battery is an advancement that the battery industry has been trying to develop for decades. And it looks like QuantumScape has finally developed a way to do that. And this is a fantastic technology that they've developed that exceeds even some of the wildest expectations that investors had about QuantumScape, including the complete elimination of the carbon or car carbon silicon anode, which is something that is still an issue with, with Tesla's technology. Uh, I still haven't wrapped my way, my mind around how that works with the QuantumScape battery. I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper into that. The uh, long battery cycle life is another thing that's pretty impressive. You can use this fast charging, you know, taking 15 minutes to charge it up to 80%. You can do that eight, you know, 800 times, 900 times or so without any significant degradation in, uh, in the battery, uh, in, in the battery density. So I think that's very impressive. The fact that it operates really well in low temperature uh, situations down to negative 30 degrees Celsius is extremely important as well and the fact that it's an extremely safe battery too. These are all really good things, and like I said, it's sort of it sort of exceed the expectations that we had about QuantumScape. But the biggest benefit for the future production of this battery is in fact the predicted lower material costs and simplified manufacturing, which means that the cost of the battery is gonna be very, very inexpensive. If all of this is true, it's a technical leap that really supersedes the announcements of Tesla's battery day on paper at least. Um, the issue I have with this announcement and the issue I have with the stock price right now is that the earliest commercial production of these new batteries is slated to start somewhere around 2024. There's a pilot plant under development right now. It's not actually producing batteries, but they should be able to deliver one gigawatt hour of batteries by the year 2024. So full-scale production, the kind of production that would be expected to power the entire fleet of vehicles that VW has planned to, to manufacture by 2027 or by 2024, that's not actually expected to be in place until 2027. So we're looking at seven years or longer before we have scaled production for these batteries. We're looking at you know four years before we have a pilot facility that can produce one gigawatt uh, hour of batteries. So 2024, folks, is a long way away. Even when Tesla made their announcements saying they're going to be able to produce all these batteries by 2023, that's a long way away. Look how quickly time passed between battery day announcements, these great technological breakthroughs, which was really a, a, an accumulation of small breakthroughs that added up to something really significant, to this new giant battery breakthrough that we have with QuantumScape, and it hasn't even been four months. 
I, this all makes me really excited about the future of battery technology and the future of you know this sort of new energy economy for all of humanity really but it does make me concerned about QuantumScape's price right now. I think that if you want to get into QuantumScape, you are going to have plenty of opportunities. Uh, number one, we have no idea what's going to happen between now and 2024. There might be new uh, advancements that come out that sort of supersede QuantumScape as well. But also remember that QuantumScape is a pre-revenue company. They have not made a dime in their entire existence at this point. It's really just been a, a research project that money has been poured into. It's a wonderful company, but let's remember it's still at a pre-revenue stage. They still have to build factories. They have to build a pilot facility. They have to prove that they can do this cheaply and effectively, and then they have to scale production, they, which means they're most likely going to have to dilute more than once over the next four to seven years in order to build you know, factories and scale production. There's nothing wrong with this. This isn't a giant negative. What I'm saying is that there's going to be plenty of opportunities to jump in this stock. I think that we are going to see a decline um, in the stock price to something a little bit more reasonable. I mean, it's up 100% for the month and 25% just today on zero revenues whatsoever. So don't succumb to that fear of missing out right now. The stock price could be up tomorrow, you know, another 25%. And my advice to you still wouldn't change. It's that this is a long-term uh, investment with QuantumScape. It's not something that you want to think about jumping in at a near-term price or where you might be underwater for years or more. Anyway, folks, these are just my thoughts today on QuantumScape. Wonderful technology. I plan on investing at some point, just not at this point. Anyway, you can tell me how wrong you think I am in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much.